No Man's Sky has done it again. Someone tell them to chill out. Only 41 days after the Omega update, Hello Games released another big update called Orbital because your brain will immediately leave the stratosphere. Space stations have been completely redesigned inside and out, new build parts are available, and most importantly, after years and years of begging for ship customization, it is finally here. But there's a catch. The only way to customize a ship is to make one from scratch. I was a little let down by this caveat, but I only cried for seven minutes. At the moment, you can only craft fighters, explorers, and haulers. No solar ships, no exotics, no TIE fighters, just the original trilogy. The actual process of building a new ship is quite satisfying and serves as a great foundation for hopefully more options in the future. You can salvage parts from downed starships or buy and scrap ships from pilots, but you can only select one piece to collect. Once you have an option for the fuselage, wings, and thruster, as well as a reactor core you can purchase with nanites from a tech merchant, your ship can be assembled. There's also the quintessential color selection for primary, secondary, and accent colors that allows you to make your ship look like a flying bowl of sherbet. This is something that we've been waiting a long time for, and it fits right into the capabilities of the newly refurbished space stations. Speaking of which, you'll notice many more varieties of exterior eye candy. Some don't look all that different, while others uh, may be trying too hard, but we respect their choices. Going indoors, you'll notice a more open and impartial entryway, complete with expressionless face emojis. Everything is now in one area on the first or second floor, as Gladys's grandmother watches over and judges you. It may take a while to find everyone you're looking for, especially if you're like me and avoid reading signs like your life depends on it. You can also switch your starship while inside a space station from the standard mini menu, perfect for salvaging ships or showing off in front of a handsome geck. Oh, and did I forget to mention the main menu play button is slightly wider now? It's just, it's just so beautiful. There are also changes to the trading market. Your reputation will affect prices, which means you naughty little pirates better bring your coupons, and the demand in the market will feature a much wider range. I haven't noticed this difference myself, but I also have 3.5 billion credits on a bad day, so I'm not overly concerned with the fluctuating price of salt. One change that I did not expect was the ability to join a fleet mission when your frigates are in trouble. Usually I just scold them and give them a very light spanking when they've failed a mission, but now I can actually have a say in the outcome. You also have the option to advise the captain on pivotal decisions because apparently his training at captain school hasn't quite sunk in. Now that space stations look closer to outlaw stations with an extra coat of shoe polish, everything feels that much more cohesive and uniform. It's not the grandest of updates, there's no expedition tied to it, but little surprises like this are what keep us explorers coming back year after year. I really do love you, Hello Games, and if I thought Flower would go for it, I'd name my first offspring after you. Hello Games the Gamer. Precious. So how do you feel about this update? When was the last time you had a zebra cake? How many chin-ups can you do in a row? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could-